Rugby Blog YouTube channel and welcome to Orlando. I'm actually on my way to Daytona and today I wanted to start off this video by taking you with me behind the scenes. Over the next few days, I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes of the Daytona 24 hours. Of course, I'm gonna show you some amazing BMW cars there, including the BMW M Hybrid V8. But before that, I have to drive from Orlando to Daytona. And I think I won the lottery today because I'm driving this car. So every time I come to Daytona, BMW gives me the choice to get a BMW to drive myself from Orlando to Daytona. And today, the lottery gave me the BMW M3 CS in frozen white. I've driven the car before, but of course now I'm excited once again to get behind the wheel because it's one of my favorite BMW M cars today. We've had it on the track at the BMW Performance Center just a few months ago. And of course, we posted that video on our YouTube channel so you can go check it out. That was the Signal Green M3 CS. But today, we have this beautiful frozen white. So before I get going and show a little bit of the driving experience, let's take a quick look around the car and talk about the M3 CS. Of course, it's based on the BMW M3 competition, but it comes with a bunch of carbon fiber parts. As you can see in the back, you have this beautiful trunk spoiler. Of course, you have this carbon fiber diffuser with massive quad pipes in the back. Of course, you can see all these extra aero parts on the car. And if you go to the side, you can see the piano black rocker panel. And of course, the M3CS badge in red. Gold wheels, a staple on BMW CS cars course carbon ceramic brakes because you need that and if you look at the front you might have noticed already the carbon fiber spoiler such a beautiful one nicely done by BMW it's not an overkill at the front end and it just flows nicely with the design of the car all right so let's look inside as you can see Alcantara wrapped steering wheel with the M1 and M2 red buttons of course you have this 12 o'clock marker in red as well and then naturally the carbon bucket seats you can see it has this dual tone combination black and red of course you have the red inserts right there and then you have this nice perforated leather with red dots behind it very very cool looking and of course plenty of carbon fiber it's a cs car so naturally you gotta have that all right so now it's time to start up the car Oh my god, just ridiculous. I absolutely forgot how much fun this car really is. I mean, we were on the track, clearly we could push the car a lot harder than here. It's flat, we're in Florida once again, but oh my god, it just takes off. I mean, that's the beauty of the M3CS, right? So you have the M4 CSL, absolutely fantastic car, but it just tries to kill you a little bit too fast. This one, Thanks to the BMW MX drive, it's got that all-wheel drive, additional traction. It's based on the M3 competition, 543 horsepower, 479 pounds-feet of torque. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. So yes, this is a little rocket, despite being quite heavy. Inside, of course, you're getting only one choice, this combination of black and Mugello red. I believe that's the name of the leather combination. And you only have one choice of seats, and that's the carbon bucket seats. Some would say that, you know, it would be nice to have an optional maybe M Sport seats in the car, but I would disagree because then it will not make the car feel special from the factory. So I always prefer to have maybe the most hardcore option inside a CS or a CR model, even though it bothers me a little bit. And when I talk about the carbon buckets, it's bothering me. What I really mean is that it mostly bothers me when I get in and out of the car because I'm quite tall. I'm on the slim side, so that's not an issue. But being so tall, it's not always as fluid as I would like when I get in and out of the car. Once I'm settled into the seats, they feel great. There is amazing side bolster support. They feel great on my back as well. So I really don't have a complaint when it comes to maybe daily driving. Driving. Now let me put my GoPro on my head. Let me show you the cabin from this vantage point. All right.
right, let's try some different driving modes. Let's do a sport. You can see now it's in the highest setting possible. without disabling the DSC. The entire car becomes stiffer. The suspension stiffens up quite a bit. The steering wheel, it's a lot heavier than before, even though it wasn't lacking that. It's still sharper and with a lot more feedback than on the M3 competition, which is something that I absolutely love. For some reason, I also love the Alcantara. I have it in my 1M and I feel like it doesn't wear too well, even though I've just read recently that you can wipe it down with a, a wet cloth and you will restore it quite nicely and I would say because the car it's you know nearly brand new only about I don't know less than 3,000 miles I guess on this one um, it just looks brand new feels great I love the 12 o'clock marker it's once again painted in red Alcantara just nicely done if you live in the US and you love your uh, coffee in the morning and the large coffee mugs, then you're out of luck. There is a little bit of a cubby here that, I don't know, I wouldn't probably put a hot beverage there. All right, so we're getting close to the hotel. I'm gonna say good night for now, but don't go anywhere. The video will continue right after this with the next morning. And then we're gonna be heading to the track and we'll cover that as well. See you in a second. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So day one of the Daytona 24 hours, I'm on my way to the track. I'm gonna have a chance to chat with the drivers today. I'm gonna be exploring the car. We're gonna ask some questions about what has changed since last year, since the performance wasn't really there when they debuted the car in 2023. So we're gonna talk about that. Now we're gonna walk around and see what other BMWs we can find today. And then we're gonna take behind the scenes and show you the paddock. Um, maybe we're gonna see even some driver's changes and tire changes and all of that. So stay tuned. We'll have a lot of things coming up. a team presentation at the Daytona 24 hours BMW M Hybrid V8. You can see the entire driver lineup. You have in there Frank Van Mille, the BMW M CEO. Okay, guys, so we're about to go for a hot lap with the BMW M3 M4 safety cars here at the Daytona 24 hours. What do you think, gentlemen? Should we go? 
I think so, yeah. Uh, down into turn one. Bring it back a little bit closer. Squeeze on the gas. Car wants to step out a little bit with the Bavarian power. Good handling left to right transition there, even with four people in the car, into the International Horseshoe, looking where we want to go, down to the apex. Squeeze on that Bavarian power and let's go, guys. On the gas. Click up. We got fourth gear. We got fifth gear. Little tap of the brake. Settle the car. Turn in. On the gas. Let it track all the way out. Boom. Hard on those carbon ceramic brakes. It will stop you yesterday. Down to the apex. Be patient. Be patient. Now squeeze on the gas as we take the uh, steering wheel a little straighter. And hard onto the brakes. Look left, bring it down, be patient, let the front bite so we have the steering and take it out to the wall. You are at Daytona. There we go. How's that, guys? We like that. Easy. Yeah. So, got a little tailwind down the long back straight. Looking for the bus stop turn way down the track. There we go. Big brakes. Awesome brakes in the BMW. Look, turn in, we rub the ripples a little bit, a little bit here, get it to transition back, squeeze on the gas, out near the wall, near the Rolex, and let's go. All right, we'll start out high, we'll bring it down low. You can even feel the compression more down here. You can feel it loading up. A lot of compression in the car there. And that's a lap around. Daytona Thank you, sir. International Thank you, Speedway Road Course. Over too soon. Good. I gotta ask you Thanks, guys, Mike. is the car fascinating or what? Right? Four people. We like this car. We could stop off and get groceries and it still goes that fast. Now when do we get to drive? Because I got a M3 CS out the parking lot. That's a very <laughs> that's a very good hey could hey could I use it for a few laps tomorrow yes, maybe? You, you have an M3 CS? It ain't my car, it's BMWs, but yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. All right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Great day. It's always yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, man. Good Thank you. See you later. Yeah, absolutely. If you need anything, let me know. Sounds good. Be around tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Briggs. Bye. All Have right. Fun. Thank you. You too. Great job, was it? Oh, man. Great. All right, guys. So we just went for a lap with the BMW M3, the M Performance Drivers from South Carolina. I've seen Mike Renner before. Amazing driver. Lots of fun. Now we're gonna keep going, give you some more behind the scenes stuff from Daytona, so don't go anywhere. All right, so continuing with the behind the scenes here at Daytona. And of course, BMW's got quite a few cars here. One of them, it's the brand new BMW X2 M35i in fire red, Vegas red. I'm not sure, the US calls it Vegas red. Europeans and other countries, they call it the fire red. So once again, X2 M35i, top of the line car. And of course, you can see behind there, you have a BMW X6M as well. So quite a few M cars here. We're gonna go later to see the i5, M60, X7, M70, I guess, the XM label red and many other BMW M cars, including the M3 CS, which is one of my favorites today. But before I do that, let me show you a quick behind the scenes here, show the car, and then we'll go to the other stand. All right, so once again, this is the brand new BMW X2 M35i. Of course, the car has not been driven yet, so we have not, been able to drive the car we'll have a chance very very soon so we're going to talk about the design for now as you can see brand new design completely different than the current x2 or the outgoing x2 however you want to call it brand new front fascia you can see this very very bold kidney grill black accents all around naturally an m sport package brand new headlights of course we have the double headlamps with brand new graphics inside and then if you look from the side, it looks completely different than the F39 X2. It's more of a coupe looking car than ever before. And this is probably the best view where you can see that. If you move to the back, you can see, of course, this uh, somewhat controversial design because you have this interpretation of the double headlamps in the back too. So we've talked about that in the past, but you know, it is what it is. Of course, you're also getting the quad pipes because now all the M Performance cars are getting those, including the X1 M35i. M Spoiler, of course, needs to denote sportiness, so you have that there as well. 
you know, the coupe issue of flying going down quite a bit compared to the hatchback look of the F39 X2. Side view, once again, very large wheels. Always nice to see on a BMW car, two-tone wheels. You also have the red calipers right there. Over 300 horsepower, it's got a four-cylinder turbo engine. So, of course, it should be quite, quite fast to drive and quite fun. So, we'll have a chance very, very soon and we'll tell you more about that. Now, let's move and see the other BMW stand and see some other cars. Hey, guys, let me show you the BMW M2 G87 with M Performance parts. First off, M Performance exhaust, very different layout. Of course, nice carbon fiber diffuser. If you look to the sides, more carbon fiber parts. You got some Psychonauts, very, very cool. Look at the spoiler. Really nicely done. It's not overly done like on some cars, so I love that. You can also see the attachments. If you go to the front, front spoiler, a nice attachment to the top, going all around carbon fiber. And of course, you got some really nice wheels on this car. Blacked out, looks really good with the red calipers. Now, let me open inside. It's got a full carbon package, so you get carbon fiber bucket seats, six-speed manual, love that, and of course, the M Sport steering wheel. And lastly, a carbon fiber roof. So this is the BMW M2 G87 with M Performance parts. Hey guys, let me show you the BMW setup here at Daytona 24 hours. You've seen by now the X2 and also the X6 M competition. Well, let me show the other M display and a few cars that are actually here. So let's go take a look. First and foremost, you have the BMW X M label. It used to be called Label Red, now it's Label. 738 horsepower, frozen black right here. You see the color is actually quite cool, especially when now the sun uh, is setting down. It looks spectacular. Let's walk around and see what else we have here. So once again, BMW XM label. And then of course, we have the BMW i7 M70. Another M performance car. i5 M60. Tanzanite blue. I've always said that when it's dark outside, the color looks almost black. Here is the proof. You have the iX M60. We have a press card as well for a few months that we're test driving. And you can see it right here as well. I believe this is Blue Ridge Mountain. Let's see what else they have here. There's some lifestyle accessories you can buy, of course. Not that many left. We have some sim racing going on here, so that's always cool. And then you have a replica of the BMW M Hybrid V8. And then right behind me, you have the BMW M3 CS Signal Green. Actually, the world premiere was last year, right here, in the very same color. Top of the line, M3 CS. There is an M4 CS coming out very, very soon. And then I guess a lot of people are around the BMW M2. It's got M performance parts all around. Zenver Blue. Let me show you that wild exhaust as well. So once again, this is the BMW display and they tone up. It's race day at Daytona 24 hours. It's Saturday here and of course, we're gonna keep going with the content because there is a lot going on today. And last night I just found out that for the first time I'm gonna be in a race at Daytona. It's not an official race, but it's the historical race cars in BMW and John Edwards. Daytona winner, former BMW Works factory driver. He's gonna give me uh, probably the life He's going to give me probably the ride of my life because I'm going to be in his BMW Z4 GTLM. I'm going to be the co-driver and we're going to go for at least 12, 15 laps on Daytona at high speed. So 
I'm quite excited, a little bit frightened, honestly. I've never done that before, especially in a semi-professional race. So it'll be quite exciting to see you know what the experience is like so of course we're gonna have some gopros we're gonna film that and i'm probably gonna show you that in the next few seconds by the time you're watching this wish me luck they're letting us go play in, in race cars oh my i don't know why God. but i'm getting to drive my old c4 and you're gonna go for a ride with me and i don't know uh i hope you sign all the forms i did and i have had uh good since yesterday afternoon oh, just, just in case no alcohol either because well, i'm not cleaning it up that's on you okay? <laughs> John, so uh, hell of a ride. I, I didn't know what to expect. I've never done it like this, only like a one hot lap. Yeah. So I guess the most fascinating part was really the warm up lap because <laughs> the salt boss, you know. Yeah, I mean, I felt bad for you, you know, because this is something I take for granted. When you leave the tires, you know, this is this is what we have to do when there's the really long yellows. Sometimes there's fog in Daytona, such in the morning. Yeah. We're sitting there for 30 minutes weaving our tires like that. And so as soon as I did the first weave, I saw your head bounce back and forth <laughs> in the cockpit and I said, Sorry, buddy, but we gotta we gotta get the tires warm. We've only got a three lap run, a four lap run, so uh, we we gotta get them hot. So uh, that's what we do. So the GT race is about to start at Daytona 24 Hours. Of course, later on we're gonna have the prototype racing GTP with the BMW M Hybrid V8. But for now, you can see some of the GT cars up there. We're gonna head down and take a look at the cars from up close on the pit lane. Here we go, guys. Continuing our behind the scenes coverage with a pit lane walk. We're about to get started in the uh, Pro GT race. Of course, we have the M4 GT3 behind me from Turner Motorsport. And then you have the Paul Miller M4 GT3 as well. So it should be a quite, quite exciting race today with these two cars for a lot of competitors on the grid here. So with that being said, I'm gonna take you around the cars a little bit and we're gonna walk the pit lane and show you a little bit more behind the scenes. So don't go anywhere. So let's start with the Paul Miller BMW M4 GT3. Of course, the car needs almost no introduction. This car is used by privateer teams. And of course, it is quite aggressive in design, in power, in all of that. An impressive car. Of course, Turner Motorsport won quite a few races with the car, so they also have high expectations today. Same as Paul Miller. 
completely different liveries. We got his very, very cool white and red livery on the Paul Miller car. And then, of course, you have the iconic motorsport livery from Turner. Blue and yellow, of course, it stands out on the grid quite a bit. You can see it from far away. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful livery on the car. Here we go. Very, very cool to see this. We see quite a few people here on the pit lane. I expect even more for the GTP class. And we're gonna cover that as well. So this is a little behind the scenes. We're gonna show you more footage from the race as well. Smile, smile. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes away from the start of the 24 hours of Daytona. Of course, the GDP class, you can see behind me the M Hybrid V8. And uh, we're gonna be here for the start of the race as well, so we're gonna show you some more footage. <laughs> Right, I mean, you've won so many championships all over the world. Tell me, how does it feel to drive the M Hybrid V8? Uh, it's a great car. It's, uh, it was a huge privilege to be part of that program. I love prototype racing. These cars are amazingly fast in the corners and on the straight. So it's, it's always great fun to, to drive one of those cars, and especially when the competition is so high. And, you know, working with such a good manufacturer like BMW um, is, is always a privilege. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Renee. So the race is about to start, 24 hours of Daytona. You can see right here, car number 25, ready to go, BMW M Hybrid V8. Of course, we're gonna have a lot more behind the scenes coming up, so don't go anywhere.
This is what it looks like at the Daytona 24 hours, quite loud. As you can see, people are enjoying themselves here. You can see everyone just watching the race. Alright guys, so here are the famous fireworks at the Daytona 24 hours. As you can see, they're right behind me and of course you have the race going on at the same time. So it doesn't get better than that. And I always wonder what do the drivers see from the car as they drive through these fireworks. Just take a look. Isn't that amazing? managed to get a little bit of sleep uh, but I did have a chance to see some of the night racing which is always amazing. Let me show you a little bit of behind the scenes footage from the uh, BMW M Lounge, the M Club here at Daytona. As you can see there are a couple of places where you can sit and watch the race from inside when it gets cold or rainy outside and you have a really nice view, 360 view all around. And of course, especially at night time, this makes for a very, very cool watching experience. Let me show you the BMW paddock here at the 24 hours of Daytona. Let's walk inside and see what it looks like. You can see all the racing engineers waiting for the next pit stop. There will be one more driver change. We have Jesse Crown here waiting for his last stint in the car. Of course, you have the race engineers looking at all the data, analyzing the data. As you can see, you're really close up to the action. There are more race engineers at the top each individual team, the two cars. So here's a quick look at what's going on behind the scenes. So here is what it looks like behind the scenes before a pit stop. BMW car number 25 will come in. The team is getting ready, as you can see. There will be a driver change as well.
Alright, so this is the end of the 24 hours of Daytona. Unfortunately, no podium for the BMW M Hybrid V8. Nonetheless, a spectacular experience here. Hopefully you enjoy this video throughout its entire length because it was quite long. But uh, hopefully you have an idea now what it means to come to Daytona 24 hours and also the things you expect to see here. And once again, I'm on the finish line right here with a checker flag behind me and you can see all the cars passing by. Daytona 24 hours, you can see the Porsche car behind us took the win here. This time around, the BMW team unfortunately did not catch any podiums, but uh, hopefully they will do that in Le Mans. And I am truly hope that this video was quite informative to you because I covered a lot of content the last few days. It was more of a vlogging, behind the scenes style, something different than what we've done so far. So hopefully this is something that you enjoy. But if there is something you would like to see more or something you would change, please let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for supporting us and I will see you in the next one.